Hey guys, I'm using this Brix refractometer to measure the sugar content in the tomatoes that I test for my pizza blog. I'm also gonna have some fun with it and test out some uh, sugary drinks as well, just to check in and, and see what the sugar content in each of those solutions is. A refractometer, specifically a Brix refractometer, is a device that measures the amount of sugar in a solution using light. Uh, and it's a cool little device here. I've already unboxed it. You can see it's this small little sleek device. Um, it has this little eye here. And the eye allows you to drip a solution on using this uh, pipette. And you drip it on there and it gives you a reading as to what percentage of the solution is sugar. So also it has its own internal battery and its own USB type C charger. Comes with a little uh, rope handle that will just attach like so. So it's easier to carry around the kitchen or the laboratory wherever you may be using it. So that's everything you need to get started. Let's get to it. We'll start things off by calibrating this, and it's very easy to do. You put a drop of water to completely cover the sensor, turn it on, then you'll click fast and then slow and hold it in. It'll go from measuring to zeroing. You're gonna leave it flat, and it'll take a couple of seconds, and then it says zero complete, just like that. And then you know that you're calibrated. Then what we're gonna do is uh, I'm going to take a tissue, wipe this off and dry it, and then we'll get to testing. So I do a lot of tomato taste tests, and part of the taste test is uh, how sweet are they, how acidic are the tomatoes, and I rank them on my website. Now, uh, with apologies to this can, it was labeled upside down, so uh, we're gonna kind of just ignore that. Um, but now we're gonna get into some measuring here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this tomato. Neither of these list sugar as an additive on it, I should say. And then we're going to just cover with a drop. We'll cover it. I don't have extra pipettes, so we're going to go with this method here. Okay, so we're going to cover that. And then we're going to go for the reading. And the reading comes out. 5.95%. We've calibrated it, we've cleaned it, and now we're going to put uh, this, we'll call it solution, really it's tomato sauce slash juice uh, across there, and then we'll run the test. And this comes in at 5.25%. Very similar readings. See how the tomato juices in the tomato cans contrast, we're going to measure this apple juice, which comes at 12%. And now we'll use what we think is a really sugary solution, this cola. We'll turn it on, we're measuring 10.1% sugar. Now we'll measure this can of iced tea lemonade. This is the light version. Five point nine percent. Just for fun, what I did here was I took two teaspoons of water, a teaspoon of sugar, and mixed it to the best I could. Now it's not fully dissolved here, uh, but that came in at twenty-two point nine percent sucrose. Let's do some milk. This is uh, vitamin D milk. 15.8%. I will say all the other ingredients I've used so far were at room temperature, 70 degrees. Uh, this was in the fridge, um, so uh, that was at uh, 39 degrees. Uh, when you're measuring and comparing, I've read that it is a good idea to have everything at a normalized temperature, preferably room temperature because it's, it's more static. But uh, just keep that in mind if you were trying to compare results. So those were some really fun experiments to do with the tomatoes and also just pouring the soda on just to see. Uh, we can make assumptions as to how much sugar is in something, but we don't know until we really test it. Um, so this was a lot easier to use than I thought. Uh, you rinse it and you calibrate it. And if you do it between every single um, 
uh, use, you'll you'll know that you'll get a, a really accurate reading. Um, it's there's a threshold plus or minus 0.01 percent, I believe. Um, so really accurate, really handy tool, and uh, you don't have to guess as to what the sugar co uh, concentration is in the solution. Uh, you have this handy tool to test it out, and with all of my tomato taste tests going forward, I'm going to be using this thing to give an indicator as to how sweet the sauce is. So I don't have, I think this would be a great tool for any chef in the kitchen, any scientist. Uh, this would be good for projects in school, um, but a lot of neat applications. And there are other refractometers that um, can test other dissolved solids as well. So really neat tool, something you may not have heard of, but if you need to measure the sugar, particularly if you're a diabetic or something like that, this is a useful tool to verify the amount of sugar in any solution or drink.